following is a presentation of the Big Ten Conference. Piscataway, New Jersey, the birthplace of college football. In the season opener, the Scarlet Knights came out looking to improve on last year's passing game. But it was the run game in Kyle Menungai who stole the show early. Menungai cuts it to the outside and in space. As the left side of the ground keeps those legs jerking, but he's still running. They give up the middle. The touchdown, Kyle Menungai. As clouds today loom over SHI Stadium, the Zips come to town still looking their wounds after the loss last week at the Horseshoe. This week, they look for redemption and have one goal. Making it a lazy day for the Rutgers artillery crew and making sure the cannon stays quiet. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to the SHI Stadium in Piscataway, New Jersey. It's a confident group. And they're waiting to take the field. They're on a cloudy day inside SHI Stadium. They have been fired up for this season for a long time. Notification. Xfinity Football Bowling Green Falcons versus Penn State Nittany Lions kicks off at 12 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Press info. Just build it here for a week two matchup against an accurate zip squad coming to town. Doors are open. They open the week in the conference last week on a Thursday. College football, McNeese stated. Up 4.15 p.m. What good programs do. There's a ton of excitement around this program with Greg Strato in year five. It is a big season for Rutgers football. All the pieces are in place to take the jump from a good to great program in college football. And part of that is having a quarterback in place. Ethan Kaliak Manis, the transfer from Minnesota, came in last week and he was very efficient leading this offense. Kaliak Manis feels exactly like what this offense has been missing the last couple of years. He is poised, he's athletic, makes great decisions. He's also, Jason, an extremely experienced player. We're talking about a guy that started 17 games at Minnesota. He had 17 passing touchdowns during his time there. Also ran for three touchdowns so he can do it with his legs as well and brings that threat to the game. The next step for him is to win the game with your legs and your arm in the most critical moments. Be a quarterback and when the ball's in your hands, everyone on your team says he's going to go lead us to victory. Well, they applauded his decision-making last week. Three touchdown passes. The first for a Rutgers quarterback since 2020. But the other part of that and the highlight of this team is the guy who led the Big Ten in rushing last year, and Kyle Manungai picked up right where he left off. Manungai is a dude. Forget being the best running back in the Big Ten. He may be the best in the entire country. He has so many elite characteristics. His physicality, his speed, his athleticism, his contact balance. But his best skill may be his vision. He will see holes today that we don't see up here in the booth. He'll see holes that the fans don't see on TV. This is a guy who has all the tools to be a 10-year NFL starter. Average eight yards of carry last week. Now he needs to have another big day against a really stout accurate defense. Had a career run last week with 165 yards, and he never stepped foot on the field. 
in the fourth quarter against the Bison last week from the FCS. Now, the big part for Rutgers, when people talk about this team, and Greg Schiano, they always talk about the defense. That certainly played well last week, keeping Howard under. Notification. Reminder, your program will start now.